I wanted to show you this. This is your dad, along with a couple of his line mates. He had an unbelievable career in Toledo. Yeah. He had such a great career that I'm pleased to tell you, Tim, that your dad is being inducted into the Toledo Hockey Hall of Fame this year. Barney was a World War II veteran with the Royal Canadian Air Force based out of Manitoba. He was based in Manitoba because he couldn't fly because of poor eyesight. So as he said, he spent more time with a hockey stick and a baseball bat in his hand than a gun. Andy Mulligan, who was the coach and general manager of the inaugural season Toledo Mercury's back in 1947, recruited that area heavily. Barney was a star at the University of Manitoba, and then he went on to win the Manitoba Senior Championship. He was a really good hockey player, and he brought him into Toledo when he came here. In his first season in Toledo, he was leading the IHL in scoring. He had 10 goals in 15 games, and then came January 3rd. January 3rd, 1947, a game at the Toledo Sports Arena. Toledo Mercury's, the Windsor Staffords. Barney goes into the corner. There's a big scrum ensues. He's punched in the chin by a Windsor Staffords player. He falls backwards on the ice, cracks his head open. The arena went silent. They thought he had died on the ice. He was immediately taken to the hospital. In the next two days, he was twice given last rites. Surgery was performed. He survived. He was taken home by the surgeon and his wife who did the surgery for recovery. Barney O'Connell came back the very next year. In 181 games played for the Toledo Mercuries, Barney O'Connell had 92 goals, 118 assists, 210 points. He won two Turner Cup championships and two U.S. Amateur Championships in 1948 and 1951. Barney O'Connell ended up retiring from the game of hockey because he could not get a life insurance policy because of his traumatic brain injury. He later became a salesman of men's clothes at a department store in Toledo. When Barney retired at the end of the 1950-51 season, he finished as the second leading scorer in the International Hockey League. Andy Mulligan, who brought Barney O'Connell to Toledo, said that Barney was one of the greatest finishers he'd ever seen. He said, we pay for finishers and Barney finishes them.